Hey friends, it's event summon, Gargoyles return with a new gang. Perfect was already there and there are two new, Mena or Mina or Mena I think is more better and Uwe. Let's check who else are there. There's, yeah, there's a three star, four star and then of course the two new fellows. So let's start with the three star, dark, rare, Betty. Dodger Rogue class, Gargoyle family bonus uh, stays the same, available for one, two, three, which is immune to poison damage. Um, immune to, yeah, immune to poison damage, immune to burn damage and water damage. That's it, depends on the number of heroes. It was just, it's just worded weirdly. Um, going into the passive, so Gargoyle Soft Skin is the passive that all these newbies have. Each time this Gargoyle casts a special skill, their Soft Skin activates. The next four times they receive damage, it is reduced by minus 90%. And they resist all status ailments and mana reductions. This effect can't be dispelled. So, something similar to the other ones where it is dropped to one, but over here it's minus 90. Okay, uh, going into the special, before that the stats. So stats are uh, yeah, this fairly okay and this is the max preview. So you can see 989 attack at and the power of attack up. This is, these are good stats, though this is on the lower side, but if you're giving LB2, this is like, wow. Insane. Let's go back to a little normality. Pointed darts is the special at average speed. Deals 210% damage to the target nearby enemies. Simple, nothing else. And next portion is really cool. Nearby allies received soft skin. So they also get the benefit. This passive's benefit is available to Betty. And the second portion of the special, when Betty fires, is available to the nearby allies of soft skin where their damage received is reduced to minus nine, reduced by minus 90%. The next time, they don't have number of turns. Betty has the uh, benefit of four times. The next four times they receive, she receives but the nearby allies, it's basically one. Going forward, let's go out, come back in and catch the four star. Grumble, that's the blue fellow. Ranger, ability to bypass. We know what this does. We also know what the soft skin does. Stats, 697, 6. 84 and 1296 they're fairly good and this shows that they are absolutely good this is like one year back max preview of a five star that's really you know insane moon boomerang at slow speed is the special okay all allies except the caster received soft skin so when this guy fires this is available to grumble but when he fires all allies except the caster receive soft skin all allies recover 510 HP over three turns heal over turn but it's available to all allies thankfully the effect duration is reset if the status effect owner is hit with direct damage from a special skill okay cleanses status ailments from all allies well Slow speed, not so gung-ho about this, though there are some good things in this, but um, slow speed for a four star where there is no benefit available of the mana troops also, or any kind of troops that provide mana benefits um, becomes an issue. But the good part is this gives accessibility of using Grumble in rush mode. Uh, during legendary play also so that's the good part
Okay, so I will, since I'm going in reverse, let's catch the dark Uwe. Legendary, wizard, talent, which means ability to give a harder whack based on Buffy fellows, Buffy enemies. This is the same, and this is five times benefit available. Uh, let's remove the max preview. 1600, insane. So 1077, attack 1060, and 1792 is health. Max preview, obviously, 1600, 13, almost 1400, and 24 and a half hundred. Wow. Chain Blast Strike deals 850 damage to the target. Wow. With this kind of stuff. Okay, if the target has less than 50% health before receiving the damage, the target, then this fellow targets another enemy who has less than 50% health before receiving any damage from the special skill. If none of the enemies have 50% health, targets a random enemy. So basically, two guys get whacked. <laughs> the damage is reduced on each consecutive hit. So this is like 850 damage to the target. <laughs> if there is no one less than 50, hammer. Again, no one less than 50, hammer. Oh gosh, this guy needs to be killed. Thankfully, he's at slow speed, but this is insane. In rush, obviously, he's going to be a nightmare. Each enemy can only be hit once. This that this needs to be done for Lemonwood also. Each enemy can only be hit once. <laughs> if hit enemies use their special skill in the next three turns, they get 725 poison damage for five turns. So that there's an ailment against use of special skill that is given. And uh, it is uncleansable unless you have Gazelle or the dancing... Um, uh, fellows from the opera family, where their dance can set it off. Whew. Wow. Well, uh, slow, obviously, speed obviously reduces a lot of utility of this fellow, Uwe, but is doing insane stuff. The chaining through is crazy. And we know what uh, crazy stuff uh, this guy's, uh, this fellow, I forget his name, we are not using him, the fire <coughs> fellow there does. Wait, let's go and this is embarrassing. Yeah, not using him, so I've forgotten his name. Yeah, this guy, Khufu. We know how Khufu uh, would wipe out during his time all kinds of crazies. So yeah. Crazy stuff. <laughs> status effects are added at the end of a special skill. Status effects will not be added if the status effect is removed during a special skill. Okay, that's explained. So yeah, slow speed fellow in rush, absolute nightmare uh, because of the chain through uh, and the 850 combo along with this. Because anybody who gets this hero, the best way is to create uh, uh, to give Aether power. First Aethers for sure, LB1 for sure, LB2 would be really good because then you are unleashing this fellow that one time in regular play. Wow, crazy. Let's go and see what Mena does. <laughs> Nature, legendary. Ranger, so ability to bypass, you know what this does, and we also know what this does. Uh, 1102 attack, 1050 defense, and 1751 is health. This is the Aether Power. Better stats than the previous one, this one. And uh, Fluff in the Air at fast speed, deals 390% damage to the target and minor damage to the nearby. Okay, it's minor damage to the nearby. At the end of each turn, the caster and nearby allies shoot a fluffy volley at a random enemy for three turns. Okay. 
each fluffy volley deals 150% damage. So this is damage over turn also. Each fluffy volley reduces mana of the hit enemy by 5%. This is insanity. So 390 whack, minor damage, nothing great. 390 is a hard one looking at um, this max preview numbers and even this regular numbers. 1100 attacks starting base is high. At the end of each turn for three turns, this is a fast speed hero, shoots fluffy wally. Self and nearby, cast and nearby allies shoot, which means three fellows will not just get damage for the next three turns, but also reduce the mana of the hit enemy by 5% each of those three turns. Well, very clearly, the buff reflect heroes and buff steel heroes are going to come into play over here to negate and also benefit from this. So, Diashon comes in, then there is this astral fellow, there is a goblin that makes you reflect, so all those fellow come into play to deal with uh, this, because this is a good buff to uh, be able to receive via reflection or to steal, because otherwise you're screwed, simple as that. Whew. Well, insane heroes is all that I'll say, good luck for getting. And congratulations in case you've already landed. Wow. Well, of course, I don't have coins. But so I will not uh, be pulling the coin pulls. But let's try a couple of pulls over here using this. Somebody shows up. Yeah, because I've collected some gems while playing the game. So Grumble drops in. That's good. Can I pull one more? <laughs> no, that's Dawa. And one more, three pulls, and then we'll go back into saving mode of the gems. Well, I got Grumble, so that's the positive. I don't know how much that helps because I'm not very gung ho about Grumble. <laughs> so. That's that, but good to have. Okay, so cheers. I would have been happy with this one. Cheers and see you in the next one.